How's it going, everybody? This is Armando and Aaron. Aaron from Warehouse Liquors, and we're going to drink this beer for you. What is this beer? We got a squishy gummy, a Northeast IPA from New Whistle. Northeast, aka New England style. And okay. um, yeah, New Whistle, small little brewery out of Lombard, Illinois. It's one of those West suburbs that are not easy to get to, you know. Hey, but I'm they make some great beer. What is a New England IPA? New England style. Mm. It's referencing the wave, that newer wave of IPAs, these hazy, cloudy IPAs that originated in that area the past five years or so. Are they all juicy? Like all the IPAs made out in that way? Mm. No, but the ones made in that style are. <laughs> the two, the two big hierarchy ones are Treehouse and Trillium. But um, yeah, if you don't know, that's a huge style in the current craft beer market. <laughs> These hazy, juicy IPAs that we drink a lot of. Really cool tops. Yeah, so these guys have the 360 lids that just peel completely off. They make them very portable, because now you're like, you don't need a glass or anything. You have a perfect vessel. Oh, you getting rid of that? But we're gonna pour it. Oh. Uh, let's just pour, <laughs> let's pour a little bit for the color. See that? Well, you poured a lot more than a little bit. Yeah, I just went over it. See, I just look at Aaron's glass. <laughs> <laughs> great yeah. color. Great oranges, golden hue. Yeah. It's got a golden crisp on the outside, but the middle has got more of a denser orange. It's really pretty. Cloudy, as expected, you know. So this is their squishy gummy. Gummy is their series of the style. This is a 7.1% ABV version. I do not recall what the hops are in this. I feel like it's a combination of mosaic and something else. It smells like mosaic. But uh, a little, little grassy herbaceousness, but a lot of fruit, like pungent. Like when you first open a bag of gummy worms. Yeah, maybe that, yeah. With a little bit of grassiness. Definitely gra There's like a, like like a, a tropical punch in there, too. I was gonna say too. grassy pineapple. Yeah, yeah, pineapple for sure. Maybe some passion. I'm getting passion fruit, I think. <clears throat> the tart fruit. It smells lovely. Give it a try. Absolutely. Your glass is so much fuller than mine. It's because I'm a positive person. Way to keep it posy, bro. <laughs> I love staying posy. Okay, this has a pretty like pretty noticeable biscuity malt presence in there, which is not too common for the style, but it's got like a nice just like malty toastiness that actually re adds really well to the body in my opinion. It's got like a toasted orange peel note to it. I love drinking out of these. It's so good. It definitely has like a body to it, like you said, uh, like almost like a viscosity, but still really light. Um, it does have a really long finish to it. I find it short. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess there's parts of it that stick around, but... I feel like the biscuity part is kind of hanging out my tongue. Mm -hmm. But not in a bad way. It's, it's good. Like a, like a grilled pineapple, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe not charred, but like slightly grilled. Alright, this is a very tasty, refreshing, fruity, hazy IPA that... It's definitely a crowd pleaser. It retails for $15.99 in a four pack of 16 ounce cans with a fully removable top. That's amazing. Did you pour it off? But you can't what? put it back in. Right. Well, it's not resealable. Why would you want to reseal it? Because you're going to drink it all. It's not like that a. Kid. Did you eat a little gummy worms as a kid? Mm. I always felt it was discriminating against gummy bears because they were bears. Well, gummy bears are cool too. They're made from the same company. What do you mean, discri what discrimination? But you always like the worms better because there's usually two colors too warm. Do you like them better? Yes. yes. Good variety. Do you prefer regular or sugar coated? I like the regular ones, honestly. Me too, yeah. The sugar coated is just too much. <laughs> it ruins the gummy texture with that, like, grainy. I I do really like Sugar. how they uh, kind of melt in your mouth, too. That's kind of nice. How long do you hold them in your mouth? Exactly. 
Uh, so I'm gonna test out the uh, the drinking fast method out of the can while Aaron's gonna do it out of the glass. The drinking fast method? Drinking fast method. Okay. Let's see uh, how limited I'll be. I don't know. You won't be able to see my progress, but... Uh, scientifically documented. I'm like halfway. Maybe like 55%. But, uh... Noon Whistle. Thanks for making great beer. Thank you. And cheers. It's a little challenging to chug out of that. Because it comes and there's a little lip that comes in towards the can and out. So it kind of like makes a stream Batman. while you're trying to go fast and it's scared I'm going to spill it. Oh, I'm really full. I'm really full. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you later.